So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Before we get started, let's go let the chickens out. We got some more rain last night. As you can see, it's still a muddy mess here at the farm. I try to let these chickens out at least once a day to stretch their legs. But here lately with all this snow we've been getting, they've had a lot more time in the hen house than they're used to. Might as well go ahead and check the eggs while we're up here. Oh, looks like I'm disturbing somebody. Don't mind me, finish up what you're doing. I'll be back here in about two hours. It's about 50 degrees out here today, probably the warmest day we've had since Christmas. And it's supposed to be nice through the weekend. Hopefully we can get the excavator out and get some work done with that thing and start breaking it in. And this video today, guys, is gonna be uh, stretched over two days of work. I've got some stuff going on off camera I gotta take care of, and we got some painting to do, so it's gonna be about two days of filming for one video. So if I look like I've uh, changed clothes here in a few minutes, you guys know why. Let's head down here to the timber frame first, and I'll show you what we're gonna start on. All right, guys, we are working on the doors again today. Hope to make some good progress on them. This is the other outside sliding door. I put the second coat of paint on it yesterday off camera, and I also added those little L brackets in all four corners. So the only thing left to do on this door to finish it up is put metal on the outside, put some flashing on it, paint the flashing. That's gonna take the longest is waiting for the paint to dry and putting the rollers on the very top. And that's my goal for today is to get this outside door completed and installed on the outside of the barn. So the first thing we need to do is get our flashing and get it painted, and I'm gonna need these saw horses for that. Move this door out of the way. Take this outside. I don't wanna be spraying that paint in here. Sure is some nice weather today, but we are due for some, I tell you. It's been a rough winter here in Tennessee. Let's go back here behind the barn, see if I can find some flashing. Right there it is, just need to dig it out. That's two pieces. Yep, that should be plenty. So this flashing will go around the door kind of like a picture frame and its main purpose is keeping water off the door. friends while those are out there drying we're going to start on the other side of this door this is the main entry door there's going to be two of them this is the first one the underside is finished all i need to do this side is put the trim around it and about two rails right here and this door will be ready for paint go ahead and dust this off before we put the trim on it and there's also a very good chance, friends, that we would get to paint this side of the door before the day's over. I ordered the paint about two days ago and I just checked the tracking number and it says out for delivery, so hopefully it'll make it here today. You never know on stuff nowadays, when it says out for delivery, it doesn't always mean it's going to be delivered that day. I found that to be true, especially around Christmas. Out for delivery could mean the next day. So if the paint does come, we're gonna work this in to building the other door or finishing the other door with the metal on it. And if you're wondering why we're gonna paint this door and not leave it the nice wood finish that you see right now, 
is because the carpenter bees, if I don't paint this door, the carpenter bees come this spring, guys, they will wear it out. I have holes all over it. And you can put treatment on it and kind of spray it, but that's a hassle to have to do several times a year. And if you paint it, I found they pretty much leave it alone. And the paint that I picked out is something pretty unique that some of you guys maybe have never seen before. So hopefully to be here today. If not, tomorrow it is. So maybe to be here though. Well, we gotta stop what we're doing for just a minute. I heard some scratches in the dust collector hose up here. And it looks like a bird is trying to make a nest in that hose right there. Happens every year. All right, guys, I'm gonna run the shop and turn on the dust collector and there's a pretty good chance you guys are gonna see a whole bunch of stuff fly out of there here in just a second. I'm not sure how to get rid of this problem. It happens several times a year as far as birds going in there and trying to make a nest. So leave me a comment below. How do you guys think I could solve this problem? It happens every year. Last year, somebody told me to put a screen over that. Well, if I put a screen over it, the wood chips are so large that come out of the molder, I think it will clog it up really fast. Maybe some wire mesh or something that has larger squares. I don't know. There's gotta be somebody out there that's had this problem before and they know the answer to it. So uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to fix it. had enough of this spray paint to do this job but I don't and the reason being probably I thought I needed two pieces of flashing but after I remeasured the door I need three and luckily we had a third piece but not enough paint to do it all so I'm gonna run to Lowe's and get some more paint and I'll be right back guys it's the next day let's get to work since we're gonna be doing some painting today let's see if we can warm up the shop just a little
All right, guys, we got all this trim installed. I'll need to let these little wooden pegs dry for about two hours before we cut them off and make them flush. The reason I've done that is so when you approach this door, you won't see any screws on the face of this board. It'll look really good. These will blend right in. And before we move on to working on the sliding door, I've got to fix one problem with this door. Right there is the problem, friends. That is a knot that I did not see when I installed this and the knot actually fell out, so we had a hole all the way through that board. Now you got two things you can do here. You can ignore it and not fool with it, or you can fill it and make it look more natural. And that's what I'm doing today. I went ahead and put four screws around this to make this tight to the door or the pine board it's sitting on top of. Then I also went ahead and put some glue in there to fill up a lot of the space. And now we're coming here with some epoxy and fill that up till it's flush with the top of the board, sand it over after it cures, and you won't be able to know it was even there. Squeeze that in there so we can mix it together. This is a fast setting epoxy. I think it says five minutes, so that's good. All right, guys, we'll switch gears now. Back to the sliding door. Start putting the metal and the flashing on this thing. And if everything goes right, should have this hanging here in about an hour or two. Key word is everything goes right. You never know.
Yeah, he's just there.